Hey guys, I'm back with Sample Sunday. We are back on track. I do have a bit of, not really bad news. Let me look at my calendar real fast. Okay, the April 4th, April 5th, I'm sorry, will be my next Sample Sunday video. I don't think I'm going to have one then, but I will have one the 12th, and then I'll be back on schedule for the 19th. And then I should be on schedule until we get back to the summer. And then with traveling and stuff, we may have to change it around. I don't know what I'll do then. But for now, that will be the change. Okay, so let's get started. First off, I have one of the Kate Somerville Oil Free Moisturizer for Oily Skin Packets. <laughs> I really like this. I've used this, the Sensitive Skin, and maybe one other one. I've liked them all. I really want to try the goat milk one. The sensitive skin, I think if it's the one I'm talking about, I really like it. Um, somewhere down the line, like I may pick up one during the Sephora VIV sale, especially if I can work through some of my moisturizers before then, because they seem to really be good for sensitive skin. I don't know. If you have sensitive skin and it's bothered you, please let me know because I don't want to invest in it. But I really like it. Okay. This is... Tatcha Pure One Step Camilla Cleansing Oil. It is a makeup remover oil. And it worked fine. It just didn't work amazing. I mean, the MAC one is better. But I would say this is probably comparable to the Bosha or the Origins. Maybe the Bosha. I don't really like the Origins. Um, but it wasn't anything wow. It didn't stand out enough for me to Google it and find out where you can buy it and how much it is. Okay, next up is the Glam Glow Thirsty Cleanse. And this is the cleanser they came out with. It says Mud to Foam. Okay, I really liked it, but it's a very odd texture. To me, this would be a morning cleanser only because it says to apply it to dry skin, kind of massage it in, and then add water to kind of make it a foam. And at night... I guess I want something just a little more sudsy and foaming to really feel like I'm getting my skin clean from the day. I've already removed my makeup, but still, just to get really everything out of there. Where in the morning, your skin is already pretty much clean. I mean, I'm sure it cleansed my skin, but the, it left my skin feeling good and nourished and moisturized, but not to the point of... It just wasn't a nighttime cleanser for me. And also, we're going into the summer weather. And with me, I don't need really hydrating stuff in the summer. So I think maybe towards the end of the year, like at the VIB sale, this might be something I pick up in the full size because we would be in the winter. I mean, in November, we don't have cold weather. But we'd be getting close to there where I'd be wanting nourishing, hydrating, thirsty mud type stuff. And it is a really nice morning cleanser. And maybe by then, I'll actually need a cleanser. I don't have like a huge overflow of cleansers by any means, but you know, I'd rather wait till I really needed it, but I would definitely pick it up. Okay. And then this is the Hourglass, gosh, sorry y'all, Hourglass Illusion Foundation in the shades Shell. I wore this one day with all, and I did not like it. Um, I'm going to pass this on to my mom because I think it would suit her skin more this is what the shade looks like. It feels actually really nice to the touch. I just wish it looked better on the skin. It didn't cover enough for me. It just looked a little too greasy. Like I didn't feel like it ever set on my skin. But if you have drier skin, and I've heard some people say it was too matte for them, but if you have drier skin, I think it'd be worth a try. And especially if you don't really have anything you need to cover. I think my mom will really like it. But for me, it did not work. So that is all of my samples for this Sunday. I think I did pretty good considering I had a sample Sunday last week. So this was the stuff I used up this week. So by the time you see me again, hopefully I've used up quite a few samples. I don't know. I've been kind of focusing on full size things. I've been kind of pushing the samples to the side. But that is all for this week. And I will see you guys in three weeks. Thanks for watching.